So if you're wondering if Tesla's bioweapon defense mode does anything, the answer is yes. It at least does something. Here's how I know. One, you can hear it. It's doing something. Two, I don't know if you could see through the windows and through my sunroof how like hazy and overcast looking it is right now. It's not overcast. That's smoke. All of this, the reason the sky is white right now, it's smoke. It's from the Canadian wildfires making their way all the way over into the eastern side of the United States. I'm in upstate New York, and for the last two days at least, it's been hazy and white. And just driving around my neighborhood, nobody is outside. Nobody's walking their dogs. Nobody's out with their kids. There's a few people driving around, but I mean, it's like nobody lives here. Everybody's staying inside because they said that the smoke is harmful to your lungs, so everybody's staying inside. And like I said, it's definitely noticeable as soon as you go outside. You can see it and you can smell it. It smells like a campfire. So I get in my car and the first thing I think about is let's test out bioweapon defense mode. That little button in the climate control that looks like the poison logo. So I push it for the first time ever. I push it and I notice you hear a lot of loud whooshing coming through the climate control vents. So it's definitely doing something a little different than your typical climate control. And so I've been driving around like this with it on for about 10 minutes now, and I notice I don't smell smoke even a little bit in the car. Not even a little bit. And I've been outside with like an N95 mask on, and you can still smell the smoke because just a little bit gets through, even though it's really tight on your face. But in my car, with bioweapon defense mode on, I don't smell any smoke whatsoever. So, does Tesla's bioweapon defense mode do anything? The answer is a definitive yes. It certainly does do something.